Hey, what's going on guys? Today on this episode of Trail Recon, I'm gonna take a moment and just tell you my opinion about the S-Pod that I've been using for well over a year and a half, and we're gonna upgrade the rockers on it today. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me questions about the S-Pod and do I like it, and I figured, you know, we're upgrading the rockers, let's take a moment and just talk about the S-Pod and show you the things that I like and a couple of the criticisms that I have about it. Now, this is not a sponsored video, guys. I just wanted to share this knowledge with you. Uh, this is a product I believe in and I think it's worth investing in, but let me show you these rockers first, and then we'll talk about the S-Pod. I got these custom rockers from over the river and through the woods. These were about $5.50 each, and they have dozens and dozens uh, to choose from. They're pretty cool little switches. This allows you to add a little personal customization to your switch panel, which I think is pretty cool. You know, they've got standard ones, and they've got these novelty ones. They've actually got some that you can kind of customize. That's actually kind of cool. These are the Contura 5 design. They have a couple different styles of rockers to choose from. They make them for the S-Pods and they've got them for the Daystar and they've got them for their own proprietary uh, switches. So these are actually kind of cool. It makes a neat little upgrade. Okay guys, let me show you how easy it is to install these. Now they provide this little tool and you basically just pry that back behind there, pop it down, snaps right out. Just pop the new one in, bam. Perfect, and man, these look so much nicer, a little more sleek design to them, I really like them. All right guys, that's it. That's a simple, easy upgrade, and man, look at that. Just tell me that doesn't look more stylish, and now it's a little more personalized, you know, it's a little bit conversation piece when folks hop in the Jeep, like, what's that passenger eject button for? You know, that'd be kind of cool, man. Now while we're in here and I've got that all upgraded, let me just talk about the S-Pod rocker panel itself. This is a perfect place to have the rockers. You know, I know there's some that have the pillars and there's some that have them down below. I love having it up here above the mirror, out of the way. And installation was super easy. I mean, I think it took me just under an hour to install this and all I had to do was remove some of the molding and then go right through the firewall and then it was easy. My only criticism about this rocker panel is, you know, I got the single LED switch, which means only gets light on the top. I don't get the bottom one lit up all the time. So when my, at night, when my lights are on, I can't see. So I'm kind of fumbling around trying to figure out which one is it. You know, I'm kind of reading by braille a little bit. So if I was to do it over again, I would spend the money and get the dual LED so you can actually see what each rocker is at night and you're not fumbling around and then you light it up and it's all good to go. I did contact S-Pod shortly after I bought this because I was that was my biggest complaint and I said, hey, can I get an upgrade? Can we? Is there a way to fix this? And they said, absolutely. Send us the unit for 95 bucks. We'll upgrade it to the double LED and we'll send it back to you. And I thought, man, that was really cool. It was great customer service. The truth is though, I just didn't want to pull the whole thing out and be without my S-Pod for like two weeks and have to worry about it, rewiring all my auxiliary stuff. So I never really got around to doing it. Maybe one of these days I'll do it because it really probably is my number one complaint about the S-Pod. So the rocker's done. Let's go take a look at the module. Okay, before anybody says anything in the comments, I know my engine bay is filthy, but this is how my engine bay looks after a couple months after cleaning it and running out in the desert. So look, I love having the S-Pod. Man, it is a centralized location for everything. I got all the relays and fuses right in one location. I don't have a bunch of wire looms running all over the place. It's really a great design. You know, the S-Pod runs directly to the battery and then everything just plugs in here. And you can see this one, we have six switches. And it's great for me because, you know, I'm swapping out lights and testing things and doing them for the videos. But if you just wanna change things around, it's really easy to do. And you can even double up on some of these if you're running LEDs because the power draw isn't that bad. And it did come with this bracket, which is built in for the JK, which is perfect. I mean, this thing just fits nicely in here. You know, they do make a couple models for older Jeeps. They make them for a couple versions of Toyotas. And they also have uh, universal versions. And I'm really looking into the universal ones because I wanna put something on the Project XJ Overland that we're building because this is something that I'm definitely gonna have in there. I love having a centralized location just to hook everything up. Now. Let's talk about some cons here. You can see how dirty this unit is, right? Well, this is all electrical unit. That is probably my biggest complaint aside from not buying the dual LED switches is look how dirty this thing is inside. You know, you've got all these little uh, air holes where all the wires run through. 
you know, I don't know, maybe it would be nicer if these were sealed with like rubber or something just so it didn't get so dirty in there. What I do is I just get in there with a airline and I clean it up every once in a while just to make sure that it's not getting filthy. So I hope if you're deciding whether or not to buy the S-Pod unit or not, that this video has kind of helped you out. I can say that I personally recommend it and I recommend those little switches, man. They just kind of are a nice little custom upgrade. I really like it. Hey, look, uh, those of you that are following the channel, you know that Project XJ Overland behind me. Work is still in progress, guys. We're still working on the lift. We're gonna have that finished here soon and you got to see what it looks like when we put that four inch lift on there. If you're visiting the channel for the first time, man, we'd love to have you as a member of the trail recon team so please go ahead and subscribe and look if our videos have helped you out and you want to support us you can head over to trailrecon.net and you can pick up a t-shirt hundred percent of those proceeds get invested right back into the channel help us do better videos for you guys so thanks for watching guys I hope to see you out on the trail